Make girls melt just 2% of men use these 14 seductive gestures women can't resist. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. Do you think there are some things that you can do to catch a woman's eye but you're a little reluctant to try them in case you look a little bit silly? Well, there are a number of small gestures and mannerisms you can incorporate into your daily life to actually appear more attractive and sexy to a woman and keep her thinking about you all day long, even when you are not around her. Now, don't worry if you don't know where to start, because of course, I've got you covered. Here's a list of things for you to try. Like and subscribe. Important information. It's important to understand that for the vast majority of women, there needs to be an emotional connection established before they can think of you in a sexual way that goes beyond a one-night stand. This emotional connection can be built through shared experiences, open communication, and a genuine interest in her thoughts and feelings. It's not just about physical attraction but also about building a deeper connection. Women tend to create emotional bonds with people they find attractive, so the sooner you understand and accept this, the easier it will be for you to introduce these small gestures into your relationship. Get to know her. Getting to know a girl better is the first step in trying to seduce her. If you're too full on, she might feel threatened or believe that you are too easy to get. If she's a passing acquaintance or friend, strike up a conversation to learn more about her. Find common interests and try to build a connection. Show a genuine interest in what she has to say and make her feel comfortable around you. Be cordial and friendly when you text her occasionally. Don't approach her straight away, but also don't act like a doormat. Be likable. Knowing how to seduce a woman involves several stages, one of which is learning to be likable. At this point, you can actually tell if she's becoming more receptive to you or pulling away. Try to learn more about her and her interests as you converse with her. Occasionally try to establish a connection by sending her texts or having conversations with her as often as you can. Women need to feel that connection in order to move on to the emotional side of things. If the things you say seem to be having an effect, she will look forward to your chats and texts and will definitely make an effort to stay in touch with you. Hold off. Many men commit this error, it's very cringy. Sometimes they express their admiration or feelings for the girl too soon. You obviously like her, and that's okay, she's already aware of that, isn't she? She has a feeling that you like her, but she needs confirmation from you to make sure she's right. So, keep your cool and hold off from telling her you have feelings. Some women have a tendency to want what they can't have, and if she's unsure if you want her, it actually makes her want you more. Crazy, isn't it? She will become more addicted to you because of her excitement and curiosity. To successfully seduce a woman, you must build that suspense. If you reveal your feelings too soon, well buddy, you will fail miserably. Mystery. This is the time to become enigmatic and leave her wondering what's on your mind. Be flirtatious and impure whenever you talk to her or text her at night. But if you run into her during the day, never bring up the sexy texts unless she brings it up herself first. Avoid flirting or discussing the texts when you are around other friends. But when it's just the two of you, flirt with her. You'll be persuaded that there is already a secret developing between the two of you if you do this. And who doesn't enjoy a little light-hearted flirtatious covert drama in their lives, right? Dress. First impressions are everything. She won't be impressed by you if you can't even be bothered to get out of your smelly old sneakers and sweatpants. Even though you don't have to dress up for your date, putting on a nice shirt and some polished shoes will show her that you care enough to go the extra mile. Remember that the way you present yourself can say a lot about your personality and your personal values. Taking the time to dress nicely can also boost your confidence and make you feel more attractive. Personal space. Try to spend some time alone with her as often as you can. It doesn't matter if you two are hanging out with friends or going on a date. Sit closer to her when you have some alone time with her while acting as though you were unaware of your proximity. You've been teasing her, so you need to move into her personal space to get that chemistry going. Play with her fingers while casually conversing, or subtly brush her arm with yours. Sidestep across her or walk by her, put your hands around her waist, and give her one last quick hug before you leave. Night Texts Texting a girl late at night when she has time on her hands and a ton of opportunities to get naughty is the best way to be naughty and intimate with her. Of course, you can always flirt with her during the day too, but with other people around to divert her, her chances of striking up a passionate conversation are slim. 
keep in touch with her during the day, but save the flirtatious conversations for later in the evening. It's important to keep in mind that not all girls may be comfortable with late-night texting or intimate conversations. Make sure to respect boundaries and only engage in such conversations if she reciprocates your interest. Communication is key, so always ask for consent before taking things to the next level. Tension She will have experienced sexual tension by this point every time you touch her, whether on purpose or not. You must now make her long for your touch. As you touch her, let your hand rest on her back or arms. This will create anticipation and desire for more physical contact with you. Additionally, pay attention to her body language and reactions to gauge what type of touch she enjoys the most. Get very close to her and speak softly in her ear when no one else is around. If she speaks softly and fidgets with her fingers, you can successfully develop sexual attraction, and she will become pliable in your hands. Date the next step is to actually see her in person and make that physical connection. Tell her that you would like to meet her sometime or ask her out. Make an effort to arrange a date with all the details. Instead of going on casual dates, unless you are attempting to woo her or convince her to fall in love with you, make arrangements to meet up at your house or hers. At this point, you must decide whether you want a romantic relationship or friends with benefits. It's wonderful to hear that you both find each other attractive and are interested in dating. However, if you followed all of these instructions on how to seduce a woman to the letter, you've only really paid attention to your ability to attract women sexually. You've made it clear that you have a sexual interest in her, and she's aware of this. Small gestures. Even though it may not seem like much, little acts of affection will have her falling at your feet. Things like finding out her favorite chocolate or drink and bringing it to her the next time you see her let her know that you are thinking of her. Additionally, it demonstrates that you have been considering her preferences. These small gestures can also help to strengthen the emotional connection between you two and make her feel valued and appreciated. It shows that you are willing to put in the effort and pay attention to the little details that matter to her. Cooking Cooking for a woman will make you seem more macho and seductive, especially on a first date. You'll get a chance to showcase your culinary prowess, and you'll be able to save money by eating in. An at-home meal is more intimate than takeout. Additionally, cooking for a woman allows you to personalize the meal to her preferences and dietary requirements, showing that you are attentive and caring. It also provides an opportunity for conversation and getting to know each other better while enjoying a delicious meal. Flowers Yes, it's very cliché, but it's also very effective. There's no need to buy her a large bouquet, not even a store purchase is necessary. If you know where to find vibrant flowers, use them to show her how much you care. Just make sure they aren't poisonous, of course, and they don't need to be expensive either. Your local store can have a cute bunch for, say, £5 or $5 that will completely make her day. The selfie. Sending her a daily picture over Snapchat, Instagram, or even text will have her smiling at her phone all day. A selfie or a complex image like a bird's eye view of your street corner could serve as the image's basis. Whatever kind of picture you give her, she'll feel more connected to you after seeing it. The idea that you've taken time out of your day to think about her and send her a picture means a lot. It's a simple yet effective way to keep that spark alive or show your affection for someone you're interested in. Plus, it's a fun way to share your daily experiences with each other and keep the conversation going. The questions. Yes, this may seem obvious, but you would be surprised at how frequently women feel unappreciated. The smallest inquiries, such as, what was the best part of your day, or, is there anything you want to talk about, will make her feel more significant if you ask them. It is important to remember that showing appreciation is not a one-time thing but rather an ongoing effort. Consistently expressing gratitude and acknowledging her efforts will go a long way in making her feel valued and loved. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 14 Weird Things Girls Do When They Like You Trying to figure out if she likes you or not. Maybe you've noticed some strange behaviors, but you're unsure what they mean. Well, we've got you covered. Here are a bunch of weird things that girls do when they like you, most of which she actually wants to keep a secret. Do you want to know more? Of course, you do. Like and subscribe. 
Have you ever been in a situation with a woman where you're hanging out, and the jokes and banter start to become a little more flirtatious than usual? This is because she has grown fond of you over the course of your friendship and wants you to know it without her having to express it directly. She's showing you more and more flirtatious references and compliments as she develops feelings for you. She's giving you these hints in the hopes that you'll pick them up, flirt with her in return, or maybe even ask her out on a date. Mr. and Mrs. She will compare the sound of her name and yours. Although it sounds very strange, girls absolutely do this. Consider the scenario in which your name is John Smith and her name is Sophie Turner. She will say, Sophie Smith, how does that sound? Sophie and John. John and Sophie. Sophie and John Smith. She will imagine those different scenarios of how it might sound. Kind of weird, but very funny, don't you think? However, she does this because it somehow makes her feel closer to you. She seems to be imagining what it might be like if you were a couple or married. She'll also discuss this with her friends. And at this point, you might be wondering, what if I have a strange last name? Are any of you having that thought right now? Absolutely fine, she really doesn't give a damn about the name, to be honest. She is only interested in the fact that it is yours. Closer. A girl will gradually start to experiment with how she touches you once she decides she likes you and thinks you two have moved beyond the stage of friendship where you can relax a little and worry less about crossing boundaries. She will begin to move her seat a little closer to you so that your legs can touch. This may seem very basic, but for women, it's crucial that even the smallest details are taken into consideration. She will automatically reach for your arm when she laughs at something you say so she can touch your skin and feel those muscles. She will assess your response to each touch she makes to see if she is stepping outside of any potential boundaries. It's crucial to realize that every touch she gives you is intended to elicit a reciprocal action from you. Treats Another strange thing that happens when a girl likes you is that she starts to consider whether you possess the qualities she values in a husband. I'm referring to your sense of style. Are you confident? Do you establish limits? Your kindness or your social skills? Are you enjoyable to be with? Do you possess strong morals? Now, she is searching for those qualities in a man who she wants to marry and who she wants to be the father of her children. She believes that these qualities are essential for a healthy and happy relationship and is willing to wait until she finds someone who possesses them. She understands that finding the right partner takes time but is patient and confident in her search. Questions She will ask you more questions as she becomes more interested in you, either to learn more about you or to simply find out how your day is going. Perhaps it will begin with a, so, what's your favorite color, and eventually change to, how's your day going, or, what have you eaten today? Since women are inherently nurturing, it is a sign that they are interested in you and are waiting for you to initiate contact when they begin to inquire about your physical or mental health. Although getting asked a lot of questions can be very annoying, it is her way of getting in touch with you and letting you know she has feelings for you without making it uncomfortable. She may be harboring feelings and awaiting a date to advance from friend to girlfriend if the questions start to come up more frequently. Friends When a girl likes you, she tells her friends everything about you, which is kind of weird, and I mean everything. They will therefore be aware of your personal hygiene products, speech patterns, place of birth, favorite foods, color preferences, yada yada. A girl talks about a guy a lot when she's interested. She becomes incredibly excited and experiences stomach aches. In addition, her friends will likely get a little tired of hearing about you. However, the truth is that she is having a great time thinking about you and talking about you. If you are unsure whether she likes you or not, this is a great oblique sign to look for. If you notice that her friends seem to know things about you that they have no business knowing, she probably told them. Jealousy The majority of the women we spoke to said they don't actually feel jealousy as they get older, so this is for the select few who do. Some women have acknowledged feeling jealous when they are waiting for a guy to initiate contact or take the next step. Imagine meeting a guy and developing feelings for him as you get to know him more. Because you're hesitant to tell him, you decide to wait for him to ask you out. He hasn't asked you out despite your persistent waiting, and then you notice another girl expressing interest in him. The head of the green-eyed monster will appear. Take the hint that she is waiting for you to make the first move if a girl you are with starts to act jealous. The expressions a woman adopts when another female is mentioned tend to go towards the sour end of the spectrum, which is one of the most notable signs of jealousy. Download It sounds a little funny to say out loud, 
but when she likes you, she will do some pretty weird things in secret. Not all women will act in this way, of course. Every woman varies a little, but a lot of women will act in this way. Because she wants to see you, she will download or screenshot your pictures to her phone or even screen record your stories. Even though it sounds a little absurd when spoken aloud, it's actually true. She will visit your social media accounts and comment, oh wow, that's a really nice picture, then screenshot it and download it. She might also take a screenshot if she's watching one of your Instagram stories and notices that you are really cute. She won't likely talk about this publicly until you start dating seriously. She's probably not going to make it the background of her phone, but don't be shocked if you learn later that she might or might not have photos of you on her phone. Other guys. If you don't move quickly enough, she escalates the situation to help you understand the urgency. She's trying to get your attention by making it seem like she's interested in another guy. Women know that men are naturally inclined to feel jealous of things they can't have, as they are natural predators and always want to have what they can't have. She hopes that by talking about other guys or flirting with them in front of you, it will prompt you to take that next step with her and push the other guy away. Posture Look at the woman's posture if you are having a conversation with her. Are her knees facing you or away from you? Are her arms in her lap by her side or folded across her chest? Depending on who we are speaking to, what we are discussing, and how we are feeling, we unconsciously use specific parts of our body as a shield. A woman is likely engaged in the conversation and does not feel intimidated by you if her body language displays signs of comfort, like her knees pointed in your direction if the two of you are sitting down. Her openness to the topic of conversation is indicated if her arms are not crossed over her chest. The Selfie At first, she starts posting pictures of kittens, dogs, and nicely arranged meals. But as soon as you start talking, she starts posting more provocative and revealing images. This change in behavior may indicate that she is seeking attention or validation from others. It's important to communicate with her and understand her motives before making any assumptions or judgments. She hopes you will notice how hot and sassy she is and ask her out. She might be trying to make you a little bit jealous as well. Surging Social media plays a huge part in everything we do nowadays, including aiding some women in their weird behaviors when they like you. She might look up every one of your ex-partners herself or ask a friend to do it for her. The friends might even come up to you and inquire about you. This kind of behavior can be invasive and a little bit uncomfortable. It's important to set boundaries and communicate clearly with the person if you are not comfortable with it. It's also important to remember that not all women exhibit this behavior, and it's not a healthy or respectful way to approach a potential partner. Yes then no. Suddenly, she will change. One day, everything's wonderful, she ignores you the next day. She's trying to tell you that she's tired of waiting or that she feels overly aggressive or available. Some women do this because they believe that playing a game keeps people on their toes. It's important to communicate with your partner and express your feelings openly. Playing games can create confusion and lead to misunderstandings, which can ultimately harm the relationship. It's best to be honest and direct with each other to build a strong foundation of trust and understanding. Looks Perhaps she gives you a bigger smile and pays close attention to your personality and appearance. She might find herself obsessively pondering your hands or facial expressions. She might be trying to lock onto you as her eyes follow yours around the room. In other words, when you're not there, she might find herself viewing you entirely differently. Why else would she, after all? That indicates that someone finds you intriguing. She's not just unable to get enough of your energy either. She feels special when she sees you because of something else she notices about you. What does she perceive in you? Perhaps she notices your confidence. She might recognize your sense of humor. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Body language to attract your crush, nonverbal signals work. Are you looking for ways to attract your crush? What if I told you that there are a lot of body language tips and tricks that you can actually do instantly to let them know that you are interested in them and attract them to you without actually saying a word? Some of these body language tips include maintaining eye contact, smiling, leaning in towards them, and mirroring their movements. It's important to remember that nonverbal cues can be just as powerful as the verbal ones when it comes to attracting someone. 
So, without further ado, let's add these body language gestures to your roster, shall we? Like and subscribe. The face. You want to make it clear that you like her and that you are interested, therefore, you should always be facing her. Face-to-face -face contact is a sign of respect and shows that you are actively engaged in the conversation. Additionally, maintaining eye contact can also convey your interest and attraction towards her. Although we are not asking you to stare, you shouldn't appear uninterested, and turning your head away will do just that. Naturally, you have to face her when you are speaking to her. However, once you finish, don't just turn around. Simply make a general turn in her direction to make her aware of your presence and your interest. The eyes. Many women find that making good eye contact is attractive, but you don't have to stare. You just need to make some brief eye contact and use your charm to win her over. Before you start a conversation, eye contact is important because it acts as the mind's equivalent of the tongue. Making eye contact shows that you are confident and interested in what she has to say. Additionally, maintaining eye contact throughout the conversation can help establish a connection and build trust. However, watch out for creepy staring. While maintaining eye contact with her, keep her in your line of sight but occasionally avert your gaze. The pupils. People frequently link dilated pupils to drug or alcohol use, as well as a need for a trick to the opticians, but they can also be a sign of attraction. When someone is looking at you, your pupils, which always allow light to pass through, are located directly in the middle of your iris. Your pupil widens to assist your eye in focusing and adjusting to the light. The release of oxytocin and dopamine, also known as the happy or love hormones, into your brain as a result of psychological reactions like attraction or sexual excitement can also have an impact on your pupil size. Similar to an erection, the blood vessels actually open up to allow blood to flow and to cause engagement, which then causes the nerves to become a little more sensitive. The brows. Many of you are unaware of the important role that your brows play in how women interpret your body language. When speaking to her, raising them excessively could come across as rude. If they are too low, it will make you appear irritated. If you don't raise them at all, your expression will be somber, and you will come off as bored. So, make sure you are adept at emoting with your brows. Simply raise them high enough for her to notice that you are genuinely interested in what she has to say. Your eyebrows play a significant role in the nonverbal side of communication, and mastering their movements can help you convey your emotions effectively. Practice in front of a mirror to ensure that your eyebrow movements appear natural and not forced. The nose. When someone's nostrils flare, it's frequently an attempt to take a quick breath in and occasionally a sign of attraction on a biological level. It's also possible that this is done to absorb more of the other person's pheromones. It might also indicate interest and excitement. The smile. To convey that you are having fun during a conversation, you might need to occasionally fake a smile. While women may be speaking, they are constantly observing your face and your expressions, which can often backfire. Maintaining a false smile can be obvious through the eyes. Genuine smiles and laughter make your eyes sparkle, but fake smiles leave your eyes unlit and don't really blend in with the rest of your face. Therefore, it's important to find a balance between showing that you are engaged and having a good time without overdoing it with fake expressions. One way to achieve this is by actively listening and responding appropriately to the conversation. The lips. If you really want to find out if there is an undeniable sexual chemistry between the two of you, talk to her while frequently licking your lips. Your first physical contact with a woman will likely be through her lips. She is immediately drawn to your lips when you lightly touch or flick them. However, it is important to know that relying solely on physical cues and gestures can be misleading and sometimes inappropriate. It is also crucial to communicate clearly and respectfully with your partner to ensure mutual consent and understanding. Therefore, be tactful when touching your lips and refrain from doing so frequently. If you want her to kiss you, doing it too often could come across as a little creepy. The parted lips. Some people are more likely to part their lips as opposed to licking them when they are attracted to someone. This behavior is thought to be a subconscious attempt to make the lips look more inviting and attractive. However, it is important to note that body language can vary greatly between individuals and cultural backgrounds. When your faces are close together, it could be an indication of slight apprehension or that they are looking forward to a kiss. The voice. People occasionally alter their voices during conversations as a sign of unspoken attraction for the person they are talking to. In response to sexual attraction, men may deepen their voice to sound more dominant, 
whereas women may raise their voice's pitch. A person alters their voice tone, whether unconsciously or on purpose, to stand out from the crowd and grab your attention or, in this case, your ear. If you can tell their voice apart from everyone else's around you, that will be simpler to accomplish. Consider the attraction mutual if you've noticed that you both behave this way around one another. Posture. Strong, confident men have an innate appeal to women because men are innately perceived as protectors by women who frequently assess a man's appearance and self-control. This innate appeal can also be attributed to the societal norms and expectations that have been ingrained in us, where masculinity is often associated with strength and dominance, making it an attractive trait for women seeking a partner. Stand straight at all times and maintain good posture. Make sure you're not too relaxed and don't slouch. When you do this, the woman gets the impression that you've given up and feels anxious and defeated. Pose a strong, assured posture. The shoulders. When your shoulders slump, you primarily appear bored, uninterested, anxious, and afraid. Nothing about that appeals to women, in actuality, it kind of lacks all charm. Your shoulders will instantly appear more relaxed if you do this. Consider raising your shoulders a few times. That demonstrates how kind and understanding you can be. The best way to make sure you appear confident through your shoulders is to pretend that you have a string attached to your spine and that it is pulling you up so that you stand up tall. Your shoulders will naturally fall down and back, and your chest will puff out slightly. This simple body language technique can help you exude confidence and approachability in social situations, which can be especially useful in professional settings as well. Just remember to practice good posture consistently to make it a habit and reap the benefits of improved body language. The hips. The way someone moves their hips may be a sign of romantic attraction. Studies have shown that hip movements can signal fertility and reproductive health, which may subconsciously influence attraction. However, it is important to note that body language should not be the sole factor in determining romantic interest. Subtle hip movements, for instance, can indicate that someone is at ease and might be interested in you. If music is playing, to express attraction, people may also touch their partner's hips. Space. If she leans in or moves closer while you're speaking, don't turn away. Either advance in her direction or maintain your position. She might withdraw if you move back because she might think you are not interested or a little bit closed. When she steps forward, she is subconsciously checking if you are comfortable around her by entering your personal space. When you step back, you are telling her to back away. It's important to be aware of nonverbal cues when communicating with someone, as they can often reveal a lot about their level of interest and comfort. By paying attention to these cues and responding appropriately, you can create a more positive and engaging interaction. Just make sure you stand tall and don't move. If anything, you could take a step forward or lean forward. The lean. Physical space and the distance, or lack thereof, between two people play a role in attraction and body language as well. For instance, if you see two people talking to one another while leaning in, it might be a sign that they are attracted to one another. Leaning in could mean that someone wants to be more intimate with you and that they are paying close attention to you. Your appearance. She will understand that you are interested in her if you make any adjustments to your appearance in her presence, such as maybe shifting your hairstyle a little bit or maybe taking off your sweater. Her realization that you are interested in her is evident as a result of this. This demonstrates to her that you value self-care and your appearance. Fixing yourself in front of her is, therefore, a good idea. If you get the chance, you should possibly fix your shirt, your tie, or pull your hair out of your face. Just avoid doing it too frequently, but make sure she's looking before you do it. Mirroring. Mirroring has been mentioned a few times before, and for good reason. Humans are hardwired to mimic other people's movements from a biological perspective. Even though it frequently occurs unconsciously, mimicking body movements to adopt a similar pose could signify involvement in the conversation. Mirroring can also help to build rapport and establish a connection with the person you are speaking with, as it shows that you are paying attention and engaged in the conversation. However, it's important to be subtle and not overdo it, as too much mirroring can come across as insincere or even creepy.